All right, hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to see a very small topic uh, that is equipotential surface and its properties. This is from uh, page number 32. Okay, so this is gonna be very interesting. We will see a brief discussion about this. Then figure 1.28 A and B, figure 1.29. Okay, so let us enjoy today's class. I hope all of you are studying very well and uh, please 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 subscribe my channel Pratik Singh Classes okay the more subscriber I will get the more better videos and more videos I will make uh, to engage you and uh, to make you prepare your examinations okay fine so let us go to our today's video session so let us start our today's class in our today's class we will see equipotential surface first Consider a point charge Q located at some point in a space and an imaginary sphere of radius R is chosen by keeping the charge Q at its center as given in figure 1.2. We will see it uh, in our next slide. Okay, so what does it say is we have a point charge, okay, and it is in a space that means there isn't any other charge near it, okay imaginarily a sphere of radius r okay means suppose we have a point charge q okay most of the whenever we consider any charge we take it positive okay and it is in a space or uh, just imagine uh, a three dimensional sphere around it whose radius is r okay this is not a circle this is a radius instead the electric potential at all points on the surface of the given sphere is the same means if suppose you have a ball football or any basketball uh, volleyball anything and at the center of the ball suppose this this is the ball okay and suppose at the center of the ball uh, we have a charge it may be positive or maybe negative but for time being we take it a positive charge okay then at the any constant distance okay suppose we take the sphere of this ball okay at every point on the sphere of the ball okay in three dimension the potential will be same okay so the electric potential at all points on the surface of the given sphere is same such a surface is called an equipotential surface okay uh, it may be two dimensional or uh, it may be three dimensional equipotential surface okay when we say two dimensional surface okay that means a region of a square or rectangle or uh, any type of a quadrilateral okay but when we say three dimensional it may be a cube cuboid sphere anything equipotential surface means the potential at every point on the surface each and every point on the surface will be same as it's given here an equipotential surface is a surface on which all the points are at same potential in our previous class we have studied about potential because of a point charge and because of a dipole okay so let me recall you once again potential at a point because of a point charge is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p by r and potential at a point because of a dipole is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p by r square if you have missed that uh, video lesson i request you all to go to my previous video fine uh, just touch the mobile screen and at the top corner you will see i button okay something written like this okay and from there you can get the list of my previous videos <coughs> sorry for a point charge the equipotential surfaces are concentric sphere surface as shown in figure 1.28 b okay each spherical surface is an equipotential surface but the value of the potential is different for different spherical surfaces okay for a uniform electric field, the equipotential surface form a set of planes normal to the electric field E. This is shown in figure 1.29. So one by one we will see figure 1.28 and figure 1.29 here. 
here you can see that in first figure at the center we have a charge q okay so this is the center and we have a charge q and this is a sphere okay means if you take a distance r from the charge at a constant distance everywhere around the charge okay the potential will be same so whether you take point a b c d up to j okay at, at every point the potentials are same if suppose you change this distance by r1 okay means suppose up to this distance from center to there we have r1 okay so if you take if you just draw a three dimensional uh, uh, sphere around uh, this uh, charge at a distance of r1 so in that situation potentials at every point will be same but keep in mind that potential at this surface and potentials at this surface will be different as given in our second figure let us see the second figure okay see here the in second figure we have uh, taken three uh, distances okay that r1 at R1 we have a sphere okay suppose this is R1 okay then and at a distance of R2 from the charge okay we have another spherical region and at a distance of R3 we have another spherical region okay keep in mind that every point at a distance of R1 okay all the point will be at same potentials likewise every point on the sphere of radius R2 okay all the points will have same potential likewise every point on the sphere of radius r3 will have same potential but keep in mind that potentials at distance r1 will be different from potential at a distance of r2 and r3 for uh, all these three spheres and also as we go away from the uh, charge we have seen earlier that electric field decreases okay that means electric field at the region r1 will be highest then r2 okay then r3 okay about potential whether it will increase or decrease we already have seen in our previous class that uh, if suppose we have a positive charge then as we go away from the charge what will happen with the potential means suppose potential potential v r1 okay and v r2 and v r3 okay how they will be related to each other okay in comment session please answer me okay let me see how much you have uh, uh, written from previous video fine coming to our uh, next topic now we come to equipotential surface uh, properties okay here only two properties are given okay and i hope you will understand it very well because of our previous definitions of what is equipotential surface the work done to move a charge q between any two points a and b is given by w is equal to q into gv minus ba okay in our previous class we have seen that work done q is equal to q into v okay uh, one minute uh, it became so much hazy let me delete this okay so we know that from our previous class that work done w is equal to uh, q that is the charge into potential v okay this potential is potential from infinity to a point okay so that is here it is given by vv minus va okay so always uh, when we say about potential it is equal to change in potential delta v okay and that is equal to final minus initial always remember the final minus v initial okay when we say that potential between two points point a and point b okay suppose this is point a and here is the point b 
okay all right so in figure 1.29 you can see that we have taken three uh, surfaces surface a surface b and surface c you can see that equal amount of electric field are passing through them and in same area so and in sorry same direction so in that situation we can say that surface a surface b and surface c are at equal potential okay or this is also called as equipotential surface okay so uh, that means that in this region to the left side of this figure there may be a lot of positive charge which are equally spaced equally arranged and uh, they are homogeneous that is why equal magnitude and in direction electric field lines are coming from them so here all these three surfaces are making equipotential surface so i hope you now understood what is the meaning of equipotential surface when we have taken a sphere or when we have taken a rectangular surface okay so this surface is a two dimensional 2d region and earlier which we have seen okay that uh, charge is at center and uh, many surfaces were surrounded by it surrounding it okay they are called as equipotential surface in three dimension this is in three dimension all right okay so in that situation a is the initial position and b is the final position so potential from point a to point b as given here a and b okay we will have vb that is final minus va that is potential at initial surface or initial position okay so that is why it is given here w is equal to q into vb minus va see there is a misconception between the students that if it is asked potential between point a and point b okay they write va minus vb that is wrong okay because potential whenever we say potential for this that means always potential difference and here potential difference is equal to final potential minus initial potential del v and that is equal to potential at final point minus potential at initial point that is why we have vb minus va came here if the point a point a and b lie on the same equipotential surface in that situation uh, potential at point a will be equal to potential at point b so this term vv minus va uh, let me uh, change the color of the pen so that you can visualize it very well okay so here vb minus va this term will become zero in that situation work done is equal to zero it means that if suppose there is a charge okay this this is a charge fixed at the center and this surface that is the third surface at every point there are equal potentials so suppose we have here point a and here point b okay so v a will be equal to v b if suppose we have uh, taken an external charge at this position and we move this charge from this position to this position one minute okay so we move the charge from from here towards here because both these places are at equal potential total work done to moving the charge from here to here is zero okay as given in that is the first property given here now second property second point the electric field is normal to an equipotential surface if it is not normal then there is a component of the field parallel to the surface then work must be done to move a charge between two points on the same surface this is a contradiction therefore the electric field must always be normal to the equipotential surface now suppose this is an equipotential surface then electric field will be normal to the surface that means perpendicular okay if here we have a positive charge then the electric field will go in outward direction okay and if suppose here we have a negative charge in that situation situation suppose this is a negative charge in that situation electric field will lie perpendicularly inward okay on this equipotential surface okay so always remember that electric field and potential are perpendicular to each other if this is our electric field then this will be the potential okay always remember that fine so this is the properties 
uh, of equipotential surface today we have seen about what is equipotential surface i hope you must have enjoyed this do like subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon please 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 okay so in our next video we will see something new related to the same topic okay which is correlated to the previous videos fine if you have missed my previous videos just at the right of your mobile screen touch and it will show you i button from there you can get all the details of my previous videos do watch them all to understand the topics very well okay till my next video take care of yourself bye bye